Amen. If you will stand with me and turn your attentions to the screens on today, praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, let's give him a hand praise. There we go. Come on now. Woo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's get our mindset in a frame of worship on today. Glory to God. Welcome live stream. Welcome to the house of prayer. Welcome to a place where we're sitting at the feet of Jesus and we're getting ready to give him glory and honor as we worship him. My name is Minister Regina Ratliff and we're going to enter in worship and we're going to enter in giving him glory. Father God, we thank you on today. Hallelujah. We thank you for this day, Lord God, that you have brought before us, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you woke us up today, Lord God. We're here, Father God, to reverence you, to give you glory and honor. We're here, Lord God, to praise and magnify your holy name. We're here, Lord God, to sit at the feet of Jesus. We're here in your presence. We're here in your anointing, oh God, and we thank you. We thank you for all things, Lord God. We thank you for each other, Lord God. We thank you for our households, Father. We thank you for this opportunity that we can come together one more time and worship and in praise, Lord God. We thank you for your son, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for salvation, and we thank you for healing, Lord God, in our bodies, Lord God. We thank you for strength, Lord God. Without you, we couldn't have the strength. We thank you for strength in this day, oh God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, Father God, the paraclete, the one that goes along the side of us. We thank you for that comforter, Lord God, that comforted us when we need it. We thank you, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, for being in the midst of us. We thank you for the presence from ceiling to floor to wall to wall. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We don't take you for granted, but we thank you for the power in the Holy Spirit. And we thank you, God, hallelujah, for all things as we reverence you on today. Father God, look upon our pastors, Pastor Troy L. Campbell and Lady Teresa Campbell. We thank you for our pastors, the shepherds of this house, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, as you continue to anoint them, Lord God, and teach us to, to go in the right path, Lord God, that you just put your ministering angels about them. Keep them up under the healing of your wings, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the word that will go forth on today, Father. We thank you for the illumination and, and the word that we can apply to our lives, Father, in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, Lord God. We thank you for the ministers and the pastors and the elders, evangelists, Lord God, all those represented here at the secret place, from the ushers to the greeters, oh God, from the praise dancers and singers, God, to the music ministry, Father, in the name of Jesus, for the secret place in all, Father. We glorify you on this day, Lord God. You said to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and to your courts with praise. You told us to be thankful and to bless your name in the name of Jesus. And so as we honor you on today, as we celebrate today in the name of Jesus, we give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Come on and thank him. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. What if God told you that your healing was in your lungs? And so you got to give him a praise. What if he told you that your deliverance was in your lungs? Would you give him a praise? That's what he's telling us. It's in our lungs. His breath is in our lungs. I give 
about the new wine and that he can't pour old wine in new wine skin. He's changing us. He's forming us and making us new in this place. He said, he said we got to be willing to be turned inside out and be transparent in this moment and let him stitch us up in some places. How many of us need to be stitched up? I, I, I just need, I, I need the new wine skin. I need the new wine skin for the new garment that he has prepared for this body. There's a new garment that he's prepared. And it can look a little bit intimidating, but I'm telling you right now, you let him crush you. You let him apply a little bit of pressure on you. New wine, new wine, new wine. Let me hear you say new wine, new wine.
you, God. It is so important that at times in our lives we have to remind ourselves about how much God loves us and that he sees us, that he knows us through it all of the joys, through all of the hurt, through all of the pain, through all of the grief, through all of the worry, through all of the anxiety, through all of the sickness. He sees us, he knows us, but he has never forsaken us and he has never left us alone. He is with us through and through through and through, through the trials and the battles, through the rejoicing, he is right there next to you, so you are not alone. You are not alone. You don't have to fake in front with God because he sees you. He sees you through and through. So if you're gonna be vulnerable at any point in your life, it is with the Lord. Because he says that he knows the plans that he has for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you hope and a future. We glorify God today. And we thank him that he sees us. That he knows us. That he loves us. Through and through. He said that we are made strong in our weakness because he is there through and through. Glory to God. Glory to God, we honor your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that today, the title is no coincidence to pick it up. Pick up his strength. Pick up his healing. Amen, glory to God and welcome to the secret place. The Secret Place live stream. God bless you. Welcome to the Secret Place Church. We are so happy to have you here. Um, I would encourage you all who have social media, share it. Start a watch party right now with your friends and family. Let them know they don't want to miss out on anything that is going to take place today. I have a couple of things that I want to share with you. Many of you know it. But if you are here for the very first time or watching us for the very first time, the mission of The Secret Place is that The Secret Place is a church. We are a place where individual wholeness is achieved through prayer, preaching, and teaching the Word of God. Please connect with us on our website at www.tsp91.org or on our free app, which is available on whatever type of phone that you have, but it is a resource for you with the Bible and messages and opportunities to give. You can submit prayer requests, you can give testimonials, you can um, on Tuesdays be encouraged by articles that come out. So we are thankful for the different resources that we have here at The Secret Place. And if you are a treasure hunter here, which means if you are a leader or if you serve in the ministry in any capacity, we are having a meeting immediately following church. So we are having a treasure hunters meeting immediately following church. Also, I'd like to share with you some of our global engagements, which are opportunities for us to engage with what we are doing here in the body of Christ and how we can take this gospel to the whole world. Next week, we are going to be celebrating the life of Pastor Gregory O'Rear. How many of you know that his is a life worth celebrating? So we are going to thank God for all that he has done. We're going to continue to lift up Sister Rose and their family through it all. But we are coming together to thank God for his life for his contribution to this world, for his contribution to the kingdom of God. So next Saturday, May 4th at 12 p.m., we invite you to join us for that celebration of life. It will be held at 1110, so 1110 West Taft Avenue, Suite B, in the city of Orange. The zip code is 92865. Again, that's 10 West Taft Avenue, Sweet B in the city of Orange, zip code 92865. Amen? Amen. And because...
We are having a lot of other exciting things happening here within the ministry. Um, we are moving. Remember, but we are moving and we are moving next Sunday. So we are still having our Tuesday night here. Our prayer meeting will be here in the city of Bellflower at Tuesday night at 7 p.m. So we want you to encourage people to come because I don't know about you, when God is blessing and transitioning, so before I moved out of my old home into my new one, I gave thanks for what God did for me in that place that I was in because he was transitioning me into another place. So I, I were you, I would be here this coming Tuesday night at 7 p.m. because we want to thank God for what he did for us here as he is transitioning us higher because next Sunday we are going to the city of Pasadena. Amen. Amen. Service will begin at 1 p.m. But you know the secret place, we don't just do stuff just regular style. We are going to have a fiesta on Cinco de Mayo, right? <laughs> we are having church at 1 p.m. And then at 3 p.m., immediately following service, we are going to have food, we are going to have games, and we are going to have fun, right? I know that sounds like I'm mandating it, but no, we're going to have food, we're going to have games, and we're going to have fun. So just like, again, with your home, if you are moving into a new place, you want to have a home, home warming, right? Is that a housewarming party? So we encourage you to come to our housewarming party on that day. We are also going to be giving away items because, you know, we are a church that believes in sewing. So we are, through our, um, our, our tow ministry, the only way outreach ministry, we will be sewing into this new community that we are going into because we are starting things off right. So as we all move, I want us to take ownership of this, right? We know that we are treasure hunters, we are shareholders, so we have a vested interest in this opportunity to move to a new location. So in your new home, I would encourage you to invite a friend, to invite a family member, to invite a neighbor, whoever you would like. If you know people that live in Pasadena that will be excited because we are moving, if they live in Victorville, invite them because they will be blessed by it. Amen? Amen. Also, just as a reminder, we are in a series on uh, spiritual warfare, and the, ser uh, the sermon today's title is Pick It Up. Pick It Up. So we have a number of things going on. Again, outside, please sign in at the uh, sign-in table. There's various opportunities for things that are coming up. We also know that um, the National Day of Prayer is also happening this week, May 2nd, at noon at the Town Center Plaza in Bellflower, the National Day of Prayer. The address is 16521 Add in more, so that's A D E N M O O R Avenue in the city of Bellflower. And the theme is love one another. And we know that our very own Pastor Troy L. Campbell is the president of the Bellflower Ministerial Association. And he is spearheading this event. So if you are able to, please come out and let us join in in this National Day of Prayer. And that concludes the announcements for today, our global engagements. Again, please, um, if you have any questions or would like to sign up for any of the outreach opportunities, or if you would like to have someone or yourself be baptized, please again sign in at the sign-in table. And also visit the product table because there are some wonderful products there, everything from anointing oil, um, everything from t-shirts and bracelets and books and videos um, from our very own pastor and evangelist cooks and others. So be blessed by that. Now we are going to have our time of tithes and offerings. Amen, amen, tithes and offerings. This is just as important as singing love songs to our Savior. It is, it is. How many of you know that um, God's covenant relationship with you is critical? And for some of you that might be wondering, what is that? It's an agreement. A covenant is an agreement. So if God is making a covenant with you, You've got to know that it's something that cannot be broken. There isn't any fine print 
that'll talk you or walk you out of that blessing. His word says that his wor this world would end before his word returned to him void. So if God has called for us to have a covenant with him, it is a solid contract and agreement. He shouldn't be the only one to keep up that term. We should also be willing to keep up that term. If we are asking and believing in him to do amazing things in our lives, if he agrees that he'll do it, he's going to do it. But we have to do our part. In uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8, I'm going to read at verse number 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 18, and it says, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power. And in some translations right there, the covenant to get wealth. He established his covenant swore to your father. So he swore to your fathers, your forefathers, your great-grandfathers, your great-great-grandfathers, people who prayed and didn't even know your name but knew one day that you would be here, that God is keeping up that promise and that covenant with those people. And it says, his covenant which he swore to your fathers 